Hello, hope you are enjoying my lectures in economics, especially macroeconomics. And today I will be discussing about the sensitivity of investment to rate of interest and highest curve. There are related lectures regarding this issue, and you can find those lectures in the description box. Okay. So today I am going to introduce the sensitivity of investment to rate of interest and the RS curve. Okay. Now, this is the diagrammatically representation, diagrammatic representation of the sensitivity of investment to rate of interest and RS curve. Look, along the vertical axis, we measure the interest rate, okay? Along the horizontal axis, we measure the real output or real income. Now, what happens depending on the sensitivity of investment to the rate of interest, the shape of the ice curve. When the sensitivity of investment to rate of interest is zero, that is inelastic. That is the investment is totally inelastic. Investment is totally inelastic then the ice curve will be particle line. The ice curve will be ice zero and it is a particle line, okay? It is a vertical line, parallel to the vertical axis. Parallel to the vertical axis. And if investment increases, then ice curve will shift to the right. It is known to you. And this is the initial equilibrium point where the goods market as well as the money market is in equilibrium. So shifting off, if there is increase in investment, I0 shifts towards right and it will be I1. So the gap, the gap between the I0 and I1 is Y0 and Y1, that is the Y2 minus y zero. This much difference is there when investment is interest in elastic. Now, if investment is less interest elastic, it is suppose the investment is less responsive to the or sensitivity to the rate of interest, then this type of situation will happen. Now, if investment is sensitive to the to the interest rate, if investment is sensitive to interest rate, then I curve will be like this. I S this. Okay. It look like this. Now, if there is an increase in investment, then the ice curve will shift up. Ice curve will shift up and new ice curve will be IS prime. This shape of the ice curve depends on the sensitivity of investment. Here, here the investment is interest elastic. Okay. So what happens? Now we get this equilibrium point. From initial equilibrium point is this, and new equilibrium point is this when investment is interest elastic. So this much amount of output is increased, real output is increased if there is an increase in investment, okay? So when invest, uh, investment is interest elastic, then the amount of output 
increases is y1 minus y0. Okay. So it is crystal clear here that y2 minus y0 is greater than y1 minus y0. Okay. So real output is increased more when the investment is less responsive or sensitive to interest rate. If it is more sensitive to the rate of interest, investment is more sensitive to the rate of interest, then increase in investment or shifting of IS curve will increase real output less. Okay, so what we have found from this lecture is that the depending on the sensitivity of investment to rate of interest, ice curve shifting of ice curve gives us different type of increase, different amount of increase in real output. When the fiscal policy, the fiscal policy will be more, so the uh, fundamental conclusion we can say here is that the fiscal policy will be more effective if investment is less responsive or sensitive to the rate of interest. Okay? So, hope you enjoyed this lecture and you, uh, you got the point and you understand the uh, the uh, you understand the fiscal policy um, will be more effective when the fiscal policy is more effective and, um, and if the investment is less responsive. So uh, thank you for um, enjoying this lecture.